Hi, good morning to all. Welcome to today's lecture. Today's topic is about angstrom pyheliometer. Pyheliometer designed by angstrom. Hence, it called as angstrom pyheliometer. It was used to measure solar constant and heat radiation. This is the schematic diagram of pyheliometer. It consists of following parts to identical strips of S1 and S2 of area A, thermocouple, galvanometer, electrical circuit, battery, shielding cover. That is a spelling mistake. We need to consider as it is shielding cover, protecting cover, M. Pyheliometer consists of two identical strips of S1, S2, same material strips of area A. One junction of thermocouple is connected to strip S1 and the other junction is connected to strip S2, the thermocouple strips. A sensitive galvanometer is connected to the thermocouple. The strip, the strip S2 is connected to an external electrical circuit. You may see in figure. If the strips S1 and S2 are shielded from the solar radiation, galvanometer shows no deflection as both the junctions are at the same temperature. See, the strip S1 and S2 both are sh shielded. From the solar radiation that is the reason no deflection no deflection will be found in galvanometer when strip s1 is exposed to the solar radiation one strip of s1 is exposed to solar radiation and s2 is shielded with the cover m that is a shielding cover m as s as strip s1 receives heat radiation from the sun its temperature rises and hence the galvanometer shows deflection. So S1 is exposed to the radiation then its temperature rises so we may, we may observe some deflections in galvanometer. Hence because of deflection a current is allowed to pass through the strip S2. Then both the strips of S1 and S2 will be adjusted to the same temperature then no deflection will be found means the deflection in a galvanometer goes to be null means no deflection arrangement because of the strip s1 s2 temperature will be in same then in s2 and s1 what is happening the quantity of heat radiation that is incident on unit area in unit time and strip s1 is considered as q quantity of heat a is the absorption coefficient then what is the total amount of each radiation absorbed by the strip s1 that we can consider as q a a this we taken as equation one similarly there is a heat produced at s2 the heat produced in unit time in the strip s2 considered as Vi where Vi is the potential difference and I is the current flowing through it this we may consider as equation 2 so here from equation 1 and 2 so S1 is equal to S2 because no deflections both are in same temperature range so the galvanometer is adjusted to the no deflection condition then S1 is equal to S2 means the strip S1 equal to S2 that means heat absorbed by the S1 is equal to heat produced of S2 therefore QAA equal to VI therefore Q equal to VI by AA then the final conclusion is that the heat radiation will be calculated when we have the values of VIA and small a thank you